Uh, this first one is involving uh, fine motor and the letter formation. And we think of fine motor, that's that pincer grasp. That's the ability to uh, hold a pencil and manipulate that pencil. So let's take a moment and I want you to read this question to yourself. This is going to be question number one on letter formation. Uh, I want you to take a minute, pause me, and when you're done, uh, unpause, go. Unpause. <laughs> okay, let's look at this one. This is from the West. It just came out in 2023. There's a couple of really good questions on this. Um, make sure you check it out. It's a, it's a short one, but all the questions are really good. Notice the questions aren't that long. This is a short question. It is a one sentence question. And the answers are, you know, basic, you know, one sentence, uh, you know, or phrase uh, answers. So this is not a very hard question to process, which makes it a lot of fun. So I'm going to actually read it and then we'll analyze it and then we'll do a really hard question. But first, let me read it. It says, in a class of three-year-olds, let's circle the word three-year-olds. So we're dealing with that, that, that preschool, early preschool. So this is the range here, but it's early preschool, right? These, so they're very young, very, very young. Which of the fall uh, for, for preschool? You know, remember preschool is three to four, four to five, five to six. So we're looking at that younger range, that younger group. Which of the following would be the teacher's best strategy for fostering the development of the fine motor pre skills prerequisite for writing? So we're trying to develop fine motor skills that are going to be required to do writing. Okay, so let's see here. We have some options. Uh, let's see. Is it A, provide children with thick pencils to use to trace the outline of letters and shapes? So the suggestion is thick pencils. For three-year-old, you know this may this um, this may work for an older grade, but I don't think that's the first thing you want to do. In fact, a thick pencil for a three-year-old, uh, you know that's I I think that's that's gonna be, that may work for an older older student, and or or some type of grasp and grip that allows that gives a little bit more control of the pencil, um, and but also tracing too. Tracing would be extremely hard. Tracing is even harder than writing the letters out themselves. So I think both these things are, are mismatched for a three-year-old. How about this one right here? Uh, how about we go to um, a, a C, involving children in singing activities, which have them clap the rhythm of the songs. Okay, so I guess they're thinking like maybe like uh, A, A, B, C, D. The, the A, B, C song is is almost always going to be a red flag. If you see that as an answer choice, that's almost, it's not that, it's not that songs can't be a wonderful way to help get exposure to letters and even start to memorize uh, the oral language in, you know, the, being able to name letters and get that in your oral language. Absolutely. Great, great song activities you can do. I just don't think, uh, so there are wonderful song activities you can do to get uh, letters in your oral language. Absolutely. But in terms of fine motor skills, singing isn't going to help you with the fine motor skills. Would you agree? I could sing all day. It's not going to build up my strength in my hand. So we're going to cross that one off. Okay. How about this one right here? Uh, it says here, engage children in art activities such as finger painting and making prints of their hand in <coughs> blaster. <coughs> wow. I have no problem with finger painting or making uh, prints uh, of your hand in plaster. But uh, again, it's not building up the muscles that are going to be required to build that fine motor skill. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for activities that are going to build the strength in the hands. You can see this child in this picture here. I know there are a lot of teachers in this room that are in early childhood you know, either in, in three to four, four to five, five to six, or first, second grade. And they do these activities every morning as part of some, as part of their morning routine, right? They have students do activities. And some of those activities, even just taking the pin and moving the pin from here to here to let the teacher know that you're present, 
that's designed, intended to build strength in the hands, to help with fine motor skills, to assist the student in writing and early literacy, right? So this activity here, the finger painting, well, nice, and hand plastering, which sounds awesome, is not going to build that strength. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with this one right here. Engage children in activities such as doing finger plays and playing with interlock blocks and beads. Think about that right there. So they're, they're moving their fingers. They are picking up things with their hand. They're interlocking, pulling things apart, interlocking things together. They're building that fine motor pincer grasp. These are the things that are going to be helpful, okay? So that building up that dexterity in the hands, the ability to manipulate and may make fine motor movement with the hands, interlocking the blocks and taking them apart and picking them up, even those little things are going to help with this, which is ultimately going to help with the writing. All right, team, did you like that question? I just want to go back and I want to circle some things here. When I look at a question like this, I don't look at the length as much as I look at how much it, they stuff in it. And I think they stuff a lot in here. Like we're, we're, we're dealing with a question with a three-year-old. That's, that's very specific. We're talking about fine motor skills. Okay. And then we have these different scenarios. We have, uh, you know, a thick pencil and outlining letters. We have uh, finger play and interlining, interlocking blocks and beads. We have uh, singing activities. Uh, we have uh, finger painting. I like how, even though this is a, a short question, they incorporated a lot of potential activities. And there's and and you know a lot of this stuff could happen in that classroom. They're just not the best matches for this particular skill. You got me, team. Okay, team. The answer here is B. And if you go and check this out, here's the link to that test. Let's let's do another one. Okay. Uh, let's go to another one. 